Welcome to Hertz. When you come to pick up your rental, bring your physical driver's license and a valid credit card or debit card. The names on these both need to match. Hertz does not accept prepaid cards, PayPal, or online banks. When you pick up your rental, we'll run your credit or debit card and place a temporary authorization on your account. Then, after seven days, a new pending authorization is put on your account for the upcoming week two, and you will see a completed payment for the week one rental. Remember, an authorization is not a payment, so you are not being double billed. The money will only leave your account with a completed payment. With the upcoming week's authorization and last week's payment, you may need more money in your account than one single week's rental. Each bank decides the amount of time that the authorization is held. If you have questions about this, please contact your bank. Your rental includes standard preventative maintenance, which covers tire rotation, fluid top off, and regular inspections. If your rental car is damaged while on rent, you'll be responsible for the first $1,000 of damage, regardless of fault. When you come into the Hertz location to pick up your car, you can learn about additional vehicle protection that covers tire damage, windshield damage, and more. If you're in an accident, you must call the police and file a police report. Keep a copy of the police report for the insurance claim. If you're unable to file a police report, take photos and videos and write down the name, phone number, and vehicle registration of any people involved. Then, contact both Uber and Hertz. And finally, you're renting a car to drive with Uber. You are not allowed to use this car to earn money with any other platform. So now that you have brands up Tesla from us, we want to put you on the road to start earning fast. But safety's first. We want you to get familiar with the car before you pick up your customers. One big difference is that EV accelerate much faster. So press gently. Also, when you're taking the foot off the accelerator, it automatically starts slowing down. So be very cautious with that. My suggestion is to get familiarized with the car, do all your adjustments before you pick up a customer so you won't get distracted. Okay, open the trunk like this. Close it the same way. Tesla has a front truck. You open the front truck like this as well. I recommend it to use it for your belongings and leave the back trunk for the customers. One thing on the front trunk, you won't be able to close it remotely. You have to use both hands to close it. Let's open the car. Always will be under the camera. This is a camera, not a sensor. So the sensor is down here. One of the first thing you will encounter with the customers is how to open it. They will ask you, how can I open the car? Remember, give them the thumbs up and show them. They will, as soon as they put the thumb, it will open and grab. To turn on the car, just place the key card on the center. After downloading your Tesla app, just scan the QR code and you will be all set. With your Tesla app, you will be able to use it as your key. You will turn on the lights, lock, unlock the car. To adjust your mirrors, just touch the screen where it says mirror, left or right, and adjust it as you please. To adjust your wipers, use your touch screen, go to automatic, or you also you can do it manually. Common customer requests is to adjust the AC or the heat. You can use the touch screen to do any adjustment. Drivers recommend to place your phone on this side so you don't get distracted. Okay, let's drive. To put the car into drive, press the brake, down to drive, up to reverse, and when you're ready to park, just press this button. Now let's talk about charging. Here, you will see how much battery you have left. Tap, and it will give you the mileage that you have left. To find the nearest supercharge, tap navigate, then charging, and it will give you a list of all the closest chargers, including the prices. Remember, time is important when you're charging. My recommendation is either go in the morning or late at night. Okay, so let's go to a charging station. Remember, Tesla accelerates quickly. Once you're on the supercharger station, push to open. Plug in the charger and see the green light flashing. Something important, if you leave the car after it's being charged, you will be charged a idle fee. Another important thing is that you don't get the option of paying at the station. You will be charged on your weekly rental. So now that you have rent from Hertz and Uber partnership, it's important for you to remember you're not allowed to use any other platform besides Uber. 
thank you for renting with Hertz.